Hello guys, today we are going to talk about how to do the SPM question for 2016 MS paper section A question 2 So the question says the uh, uh, quadratic equation quadratic function fx in, intersect the x-axis and the minimum point is negative 8 So the part A asks you to find the value of h and k So first of all we copy the question out I mean the equation So fx equals to 2x minus h square plus 2k so since you say y equals negative 8 touches the minimum point on, of the curve which means negative 8 is the minimum point minimum value so 2k is also the minimum value so we just 2k equals to negative 8 so k is negative 4 so to find a h we know that in a graph when one point is equal to 1 another point is equal to 5 the axis of symmetry is a midpoint of these two value. So h is also the uh, uh, value of x of symmetry. So just h is equal to 5 plus 1 divided by 2. So h is 3. This is part A. For part B, he, the, he asks you to sketch a graph of fx when x is between a 0 and 6. So you need to find the value of fx when x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 6 and find the value of x when y is equal to negative 8 so basically you just need to find um, uh, I sub the h and k into the equation first to uh, easier refer fx equals to 2 x minus 3 square plus 2 negative 4 so 2 bracket x minus 3 square minus 8 so when x is equal to 0 fx is equal to 2 x minus okay, 0 minus 3 square minus 8 which means negative 3 square is 9 2 bracket 9 minus 8 so it's 10. So when x is equals to 6, fx is equals to 2, 6 minus 3, square minus 8. So 6 minus 3 is also 3, 3 square is also 9. So 2 bracket 9 minus 8. So it's also 10. So when y is equal to negative 8, which means fx is also equal to negative 8 so 2x minus 3 square minus 8 is equal to negative 8 so x is equal to 3 so you now can sketch a graph fx must label so when x is equal to 0 fx is equal to 10 when x is equal to 6, fx is also equal to 6, equal to 10. So just point out. When y is equal to negative 8, x is equal to 3. So you just plot the graph, sketch it, sketch it out. So this is for part B. So for part C, he asks you to write the equation of the curve if the graph is reflected about the x-axis which means the equation is totally reflected positive become negative, negative become positive so part, for part c fx is equal to 2 negative 2 x minus h square minus 2k which means it also is negative 2 x minus 3 square plus 8 so this that's all for the question the question two. I hope you understand what I said just now. Um, thank you.